Welcome on ThinkBoard Online Education Course. Our team has designed these lessons to help you become familiar with the platform, go through it and extend your possibilities in IoT solutions development. Last time we've learned the core sense of alias service of ThinkBoard and have discovered final dashboard dependence from simple aliases. There are few aliases with a bit complicated progress in logic. They are useful when you manage numerous entities with tricky hierarchy. Relations Query alias selects entities that have some relation with originated entity. You are obliged to specify directions of relations and the number of levels for fetching data. Optionally, you may narrow the list of filtered entities by providing more granular conditions for query in Relations Filter field. Let's apply Relation Query alias to develop a dashboard for smart building use case from previous lesson. Create alias test with relation query type. Root entity asset S2. If you want to see all related to S2 entities in the list, just choose from direction and provide max level for searching. Add entity list widget and use test alias. You'll see a lower level asset and two devices. You may also notice that this alias has quite similar to the hierarchy widget settings. There are asset, device and entity view search query aliases. They basically allow to choose assets, devices or entity views of specified type which are related to exact originator with same options as for relation query alias. For example, if use asset search query alias for a CC customer with three lower level searching, The district, streets and blocks of customer will appear on the entity list. See you next time, stay tuned!